The book I'm embarked on now is one that I have wanted to do for many years and has never been written. It's about Americans in Paris, Americans uh, over a period of about uh, almost a hundred years. And primarily I'm writing about Americans of exceptional talent and ambition who wanted very much to make more of their ability and felt that they needed Paris, uh, the experience of Paris, to learn more primarily, but also to find out how good they were, very much the way people today might come to New York to find out if they really had the talent that they have been told they have or they feel they have. And it covers uh, a great range of individuals of, of interest. It's, uh, it's about artists and writers, but it's also about physicians and sculptors and architects. I'm very absorbed in what they bring back, what they gave to America as a consequence of the experience in Paris, uh, either figuratively or literally that they bring back. Whether it's an invention like uh, Samuel F. B. Morse with the telegraph or novels by James Fenimore Cooper. It's, it's extraordinary and I think important to uh, see to what degree uh, aspects of our life, our culture, that we think are quintessentially American were in fact uh, made in Paris. I think we're a lot more derivative as a culture than we realize. I think that most Americans understand how much we owe to our English background, English literature, English sense of law, but that we have forgotten uh, what a part France has played in shaping us as a people. Uh, more American history has taken place in France than any other country in the world except our own. And I felt this very much in my travels in France and particularly in Paris, just walking around Paris. And I remember thinking, wouldn't it be wonderful if there were a guidebook so that an American in Paris could walk and see where these various people lived and where things of importance happened. And I thought, well, maybe, maybe you should write the guidebook. And the idea for that kind of a literary historic guidebook evolved into the book that I'm working on. But that's been the way it's developed in almost every undertaking in my working career. I've had the need to read or the desire to read a certain kind of book. And if I find the book doesn't exist, I think, well, why don't you write it so you can read it? 